voices of my vengeance smash the stillness of the air and stand as monoliths of wrath upon a plain of writhing serpents. I am become as a monstrous machine of annihilation to the festering fragments of the body of he who would detain me. It repenteth me not that my summons doth ride upon the blasting winds which multiply the sting of my bitterness. And great black slimy shapes shall rise from brackish pits and vomit forth their postulants upon his puny brain. I call upon the messengers of doom to slash with grim delight this victim I have chosen. Silent is that voiceless bird that feeds upon the brain pulp of him who hath tormented me, and the agony of thee is to be shall sustain itself in shrieks of pain, only to serve as signals of warning to those who would resent my being. O oh, come forth in the name of Abaddon, and destroy him whose name I giveth as a sign. O great brothers of the night, thou who maketh my place of comfort, who rideth out upon the hot winds of hell, who dwelleth in the devil's fane, move and appear. Present yourself to him who sustaineth the rottenness of the mind that moves the gibbering mouth that mocks the just and strong. Rend the gaggling tongue and close his throat. O Kali. Pierce his lungs with the stings of scorpions. O Shekmet, plunge his sustenance into the dismal void. O mighty dragon, I thrust aloft the bifid barb of hell and on its tines resplendently impaled the sacrifice through vengeance rest. Shemham for Ash, hail Satan! I reign over thee, saith the Lord of the earth, in power exalted above and below, in whose hands the sun is a glittering sword and the moon is a through-thrusting fire, who measureth your garments in the midst of my vestures, and trusts you up as the palms of my hands, and brightened your vestments with infernal light. I made ye a law to govern the holy ones, and delivered a rod with wisdom supreme. You lifted your voices and swore your allegiance to him that liveth triumphant, whose beginning is not, nor end cannot be, which shineth as a flame in the midst of your palaces, and reigneth among you as the balance of life. Move, therefore, and appear. Open the mysteries of your creation. Be friendly upon me, for I am the same, the true worshipper of the highest and ineffable king of hell. Thank <laughs> you. 
In the name of Satan, the ruler of the earth, the king of the world, I command the forces of darkness to bestow their infernal power upon me. Open wide the gates of hell and come forth from the abyss to greet me as your brother and friend. Grant me the indulgences of which I speak. I have taken thy name as part of myself. I live as the beasts of the field, rejoicing in the fleshy life. I favor the just and curse the rotten. By all the gods of the pit, I command that these things of which I speak shall come to pass. <laughs> 